Welcome to Huawei eSight. This video introduces background knowledge and detailed operation methods of storage resource allocation. There are slight differences on eSight GUIs of various versions. The following introduces basic functions of storage resource allocation. Different types of storage devices can be added to eSight. On this platform, storage pools, LUNs, and host mappings can be created in batches for these devices. Therefore, storage resources can be allocated and managed in a unified manner. Before using the storage resource allocation function, ensure that the storage device management component has been installed. The installed component can be viewed on the main menu. The storage management component license has been purchased. The license can be viewed on the main menu by choosing System, System Management, License Management. Devices that support the resource configuration function are as follows. The storage resource allocation function enables administrators to allocate storage resources for Huawei storage devices. The process for resource configuration is as follows. Create a storage pool. Create LUNs in the storage pool. Map the LUNs to host. You can create tasks in batches by using a template. You can create customized scripts for customized configuration. You can save the preceding parameter configurations as templates for subsequent configurations. The initial resource configuration contains creating a storage pool, creating LUNs, and mapping LUNs to hosts. A disk domain is a combination of disks in a storage device and provides storage space for storage pools in the disk domain. You can create multiple storage pools in a disk domain. Application servers use the storage pools of the storage system as the storage space. In a storage pool, you can create multiple LUNs. After being mapped to hosts, the LUNs are available for data access. You can use a template for storage pool configuration, LUN configuration, mapping configuration, unmapping, and LUN deletion. This is applicable for batch operations. The storage system allows allocated storage LUN resources to be reclaimed. Two reclamation policies are available. Remove the mapping and delete the LUNs that have been mapped to hosts. Directly delete the LUNs that have not been mapped to any host. You can use customized scripts to configure disk domains, storage pools, LUNs, hosts, host groups, port groups, mappings, file systems, and share permission. The following describes customized scripts and functions. Storage resources can be allocated in two modes, web-based creation and template-based import. Set the task name and description to identify the task on eSight. Multiple storage devices can be selected at the same time. You can configure the RAID, capacity, number of storage pools, and alarm thresholds for a storage pool on the web page. This configuration can be saved as a template. You can use the template to create storage pools with the same requirements. After the storage pool is successfully created, you can view its details in the task list. Before creating an LUN, ensure that a storage pool has been created on the device. LUNs can be created for multiple devices at the same time. Each LUN can contain multiple storage pools. You can set the names, capacity, quantity, thin, and read-write policies of LUNs. An LUN policy can be saved as a common configuration. You can use the template to create LUNs with the same requirements. Before configuring host mapping relationships, ensure that the storage device has available LUN resources. Mapping relationships can be configured for multiple hosts at the same time. You can add a host manually. Either sharing and exclusive mapping modes can be configured. 
In sharing mode, all hosts are mapped to N LUNs. In exclusive mode, each host is mapped to N LUNs. Select a storage device with sufficient LUN resources. You can use a template to perform resource management and configuration for devices in batches. Obtain the configuration template from the web UI. Before setting parameters, read the template description carefully. Configure the mapping relationship between the storage pool, LUN, and host based on the parameter description in the template. Import the configured template to the web UI. Allocated storage LUN resources can be reclaimed during resource allocation. Unmapped LUNs can be directly deleted. If an LUN has been mapped to a host, remove the mapping relationship before deleting the LUN. Script customization is supported during resource allocation. You can flexibly configure resources on storage devices. Set the name and description to identify the task. Multiple devices can be selected at the same time. Customize command scripts as required. The task management page displays the executed resource configuration tasks. This helps you better understand the task execution status. All executed resource allocation tasks are displayed. Click a task name to view the task details. That's all for this video. Thank you.